Yeah. Uh, hello guys. I have missed this uh, last video. I just I'm recording it once again. Here uh, I'm just executing the program. Double click on this uh, LTVBAP and uh, in this LTVBAP, I'm just changing the value here. Oh, here, change the started value here. I'm just maintaining it as a five. Okay, so the sales document number five is available in the first line and in the fifth line, sixth line and seventh line. Okay, so the order is not available. The order is not there. The data is available in different uh, uh, misorder. Okay, fine. Now, I'm just clicking on F5 button before that one give the uh, LT underscore GB size and uh, LT underscore GB index. I mean, uh, key here, LT underscore GB, I'm just giving like this. Okay, now click on F5 button. And if you see, uh, the key, the sales document number is equal to five. Okay, sales document number is equal to five and the size is equal to four means in this uh, uh, LTGB, uh, size equal to four means total four records are available for the sales document number five. Just double click on this LTGB AP here, the first line five is coming and in the fifth line, sixth line, seventh line, total five records are coming. Okay, to sorry, total four records are coming. Fine, now if I click an F5 button, it will go uh, inside here, and it will loop the four times, right? So first time, the second time, third time, and the fourth time. Okay, so fine, four records are completed. Now click an F5 button or a fix button, it will come to the next record. Click an F5 button, the sales document number is equal to four five. Just double click an internal table four five where it's available, it is available in the second line. Okay, second line four seven all zeros four five is available. Now click on back button and it is containing only one record. Okay, in this internal table only one record is available. Click on F5 or F6 buttons and uh, it will loop the only one record because only one record is available. Now uh, cursor came to the next record. The sales document number is equal to three. Just double click here and uh, three is available in the third line. Okay, three is available in the third line. <clears throat> and only one record is available. You can see the LTGB size here. Now click on F5 or F6 buttons here and it is looping only one time. Because only one record is available for the sales document number three. And click on F5 or F6, it will come to the next record. Next record is equal to four, right? This four, where it is available? The four is available in the fourth line, right? Now click on back button. If you want to see in the uh, LTGP, you can see here the line index is equal to four. Fourth line is starting. Now click on back button and click on F5 or F6 buttons here. So it will loop only one time because only one record is available. Fine. Right now, if I click on F5 button, so the record is equal to four, right? The sales document number is equal to four. Now, if I click on F5 button, where it will go? It will go to fifth line or seventh line, uh, sorry, eighth, uh, eighth line where it will go, okay? So now let me click an F5 button, okay, F5 button. And if you see here, the sales document number is coming at the seven, okay, seven. Just double click on it here and the sales document number seven is available in the eighth line because here fifth line did not execute here. Previously it has executed, okay? Previously it has executed. Here the first line, the sales document number five is there. Whenever the first line is executing, at that time system has captured the sales document number, all the sales document numbers, which is uh, document number five. Okay, so wherever it is available, it will pick all the sales document numbers and it will group all the information into one group, into one block, right? So at that time only these records has executed. Okay, that is why system is not considering this one. System directly going to the sales document number seven. It is available in the eighth line. Okay, now uh, let me check in the LTGB. So where the index number? So line size is equal to 
one only, right? Yeah. Size is equal to one here. Okay, so it is showing, sorry, I, my, my mistake here. So one thing you need to consider. Uh, so this is the first time executed, second time, third time, fourth time is executed here, right? So up to four lines it is executed right here. And fifth time, fifth line, what it is executing? It is executing this one, seventh line. I mean, uh, sales document number seven, right? So system is considering like this is the first block second block, third block, fourth block, and this is the fifth block, right? This is the fifth block. And the block number it is showing here, not the exact line number, this is the block number. This is my mistake. So please uh, check it here once again. So index is coming here. So index number is nothing but that block number, okay? So which block it is? Okay, which block it is. So system is dividing the data into some blocks, some groups. So first group, second group, third group, fourth group, like that, right? So group by group, group by group, it will loop the data and it will display the data, right? So that group number, it is coming here, not the line number, okay? So this is a group number. Fine, now click on F5 or F6 button, next it will go to the next line. So it will loop that record. Only one time it will loop here because only one record is available. Next, coming to the next one, the sales document number six is coming here. If you double click in this LT and GB, the GB index is equal to six, means this is the sixth block, okay, or sixth group. And the size is equal to one, only one record is available, right? So in this way, this group by will work here. Okay, and uh, if you have any doubt, then please ping me. Uh, then, or if you are confusing, then please ping me, then I will explain it once again. Okay, tomorrow we will meet at 6 a.m. Then bye, Jai Hind.